Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are absolutely appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, and many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay in the purest of what light. I return to source. I return to center. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of what light. Okay? Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay, oh, anything the enemy stole from you is being returned to you. <laughs> Judgment is final. So we have a king of swords here that may not be seeing things uh, clearly, okay? Someone is being blindsided by a group, or maybe he's realizing this. This is someone that may want to work with you, but someone may be not seeing things the right way, so he may have taken some type of action to collaborate against you, right? He could have... Uh, um, I don't know. There's something confusing going on here. Is it some type of manipulation? Either he's causing... Yes, that's what it is. Thank you. This man is causing some type of illusion to people. He does not want people to see the truth about a matter. It's almost as though there's supposed to be like an opportunity presented to someone. And this person doesn't want you to receive it because you receiving it is going to put an end to them. Someone is benefiting from another person, not stepping into something or not receiving something. So he's causing illusions. He's manipulating a whole group of people. Okay? This could have been someone you were working with in the past, someone you had some type of connection with. It does not have to be romantic. But just know that there's someone behind the scenes causing a whole illusion. And these people, for some reason, they're not even taking um, action to find the truth out. But you're supposed to be receiving some type of opportunity, some type of contract, some type of, just some type of work opportunity, either position, something of that nature. But this man is causing a lot of illusions. Like, he does not want people seeing the truth about you. Like, he wants people to think you're not worthy of this position. They said, no, I don't think they're ready. No, I don't think they know what they're doing. They're not going to know what they're doing. We shouldn't give them this opportunity. I deserve this opportunity. Or we can give it to someone else. It's going to be someone that's extremely karmic that he possibly has some type of strings attached to where he can control them and tell them move here and they move there, move here, they move there. Some type of relationship where there is in cahoots. Okay, they're in cahoots together. But your work is solid. Like even people that are watching you know your work is solid. Whether you work a nine to five, on social media, you have your own business. People know your work is solid. Okay? For some of you, this masculine may want to come in and work with you. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm... This person is working with someone behind the scenes that's extremely greedy. Okay? Extremely greedy. They're trying to hold on to something that does not belong to them. Like, they want you to stay financially stuck. They don't want you to come in awareness of what belongs to you. There could be some type of document these two are interfering with. Or whoever this is. You're supposed to receive some type of document where there's some type of interference. There's a lot of conflict and manipulation going on. And it's probably not just by this person, by other people as well. He's working with other people. Because something of this magnitude where there's a whole group involved behind the scenes, you best believe there's some type of collaboration going on where things have been set meticulously to look like something is not. Is they trying to make someone look like something they're not? So, like, all the T's have to be dotted, all the I's have to be crossed, all the ducks have to be lined up so something can be sold to the public, to a group, something like that. But there's someone trying to hold on to something that does not belong to them. Why are they trying to keep you stuck? Right? It's like if we hold on to it, they won't know. Okay? 
If we hold on to it, they won't know. We don't have to say anything. We don't have to say anything. They don't need to, yeah, they don't need to uh, 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 know about it, but you will. You have a promotion coming in. You have a promotion coming in. A promotion as far as like an elevation, a position, fin financial assistance, some, some type of elevation. You're supposed to receive some type of message, a letter, some type of information in regards to your work. And people have been doing things to block that, interfere with that. This has been a running, a running, a, re, a, a recurring thing this year, interference with abundances. But obviously, if it's an abundance for you, that means it is destined by the most high, so it's still going to come into being, into fruition. Okay? So someone absolutely decided, hey, I have a bright and bushy tail idea. Let's cause illusions about this. If we tell them that she sucks, he sucks. If we tell them that he's not ready, she's not ready. Okay? They won't receive it. Meanwhile, there's a whole nother person watching them and saying, nah, I want to work with this person. I want to work with this person. They know what they're doing. I think this person knows what they're doing. He's probably not saying anything. He's just keeping his mouth shut. Say, so, nah, I see what's going on here. I want to work with that person. So this person is going to possibly move in a strategic way where no one would know what they're doing. You could end up meeting this person. There's going to be some type of meeting that's arranged for the two of you to meet. And they're going to make you some type of offer to get you from being stuck because these people have been working overtime to keep you stuck in something. Some of you don't even know there are lots of hands in the pots when it comes to interfering with your destiny and you're just going on about your life. Not knowing that you're being blocked from blessings and abundances that the most high has destined for you. But technically it's not a blockage, right? It's preparation. The most high does not want you to see this full of pentacles as you being blocked or stuck. It was preparation. You're about to receive what's yours from the most high. Okay? But he knows. Someone in here knows. He said, nah. I know what this is. They're trying to confuse me. They don't want me working with this person. They don't want this person ending, finishing what they started. They're trying to steal from this person and make it look like it's something legal. It's not. I know what's going on. But you're about to put an end to this chapter, honey. Put an end to all of this mess. This is how committed people are blocking a lot of you i'm telling you you're about to be moving on someone has clarity about what's going on and they didn't count on this that's how they had everything set as in stone that they had everyone manipulated that they were going to make your path as difficult as possible whatever new beginning you were having they were going to make it as difficult as possible cloud your judgment and everyone else's judgment around you so you don't see what's going on. They want you confused and say, I don't know. I don't know who my enemy is. I don't know what belongs to me. I don't know. And it's like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. You know the truth. You're headed in the right direction. Someone wants to have a hand in what belongs to you. You've taken time to study and perfect your craft. And someone... They didn't take it seriously in the beginning, or maybe a group that didn't take it seriously in the beginning. Now that you've perfected your craft, they want to have a hand in it. And they don't care how they have a hand in it, they just know they want to have a hand in it. But you're, but you're clear. These people are planning something, honey. Planning. They said, hey, she won't talk to the rest of us. She'll talk to you. You go in. You go in. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, spice this contract up, make it look like it's something promising that we're giving them some type of solid work offer, but it's really to keep them trapped and stuck and bound. Okay. Meanwhile, the Most High is looking at them like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't think so. 
I already have something better for this person. I already have a genuine offer ready. For, yeah, it's to keep you bound. I'm telling you. But the Most High already has it all figured out. He said, let's go in. We're going to make sure you don't put this word in there. They're most definitely going to know. It's a setup. Don't see this when you go in their energy. And don't see that. If you're a king of swords in the reverse, we need you to be the king, king of cups in the upright. Pretend like you care. We're going to offer them a promotion to keep them bounded. We can't afford for them to leave your company. So give them this promotion. So you can keep them stuck in their mind. About moving forward. About leaving. And the most high is like. Them leaving is already destined. They're still going to be leaving. Yeah, you're going to stand your ground. And this is what you're being told to do. Is stand your ground. Okay. Stand your ground. These people are working together behind the scenes. They don't want you to know they're working together. These are people you would never assume would have anything to do with each other. Imagine you know you stay in one state. This is an example. You stay in one state, right? You're working for a company and they're giving you some type of problem and you finally decide to leave this company, you move to another state, another city, another country, whatever it is, and you get a job. And somehow, you realize the previous company you were working for is in communication with this company now. Like, if they reached out for a reference, that should have been it. But somehow, it escalated to something else now they are all in cahoots to take you down. When you started at this company, you know, people people treated you with respect. But now, you show up to work and people are dismissing what you have to say. People are not listening to what you have to say. They don't want input from you. That's because the old company reached out and told lies. May have bribed the new company into participating in something that's unjust. And they're all walking around feeling good about themselves. They say, yep, she doesn't know. Yep, he doesn't know. But it's like the whole time you know. Because you're possibly someone intuitive. Or the most high is revealing to you. Or you just, you know how people move. You study people. So you know something is going on. But you don't say something. You, you, you don't say anything right. You just keep watching them. Going about. They're invading you in some way. They're giving your information to these people, giving your addresses. If you changed your number, they've given your phone number to these people, email addresses, all kinds of stuff. Monitoring a lot of you. They said, we're going to watch. We need to find evidence on this person. If you're saying they do this or they did this, we need to find evidence on them. And then they start watching you in your homes, online, all kinds of different ways. They can't find anything. The only thing that happens is they develop some type of obsession, some, some type of sick obsession in watching you. This is their full-time job, watching you. They wake up in the morning, don't even brush their teeth, wash their face, nothing. Don't even wash their behinds. All they do is get on their computer or their phone to watch you. Today is going to be the day we're going to find evidence of what you said they did. They say, yeah, you can watch for a million years. You'll never find anything because there's nothing to be found. They're trying to trap you in something. They're trying to trap you in something. Yeah. Someone is there waiting. They want you to take some type of action to do something. You're not. You're just like, um, yeah. I know what you are doing. I don't want no parts of it. Okay? You have someone. It could be like a mother and daughter or two friend, feminine energies. They have been working together to bring you problems. 
working together to bring your problems and they can't come near you. Is that whatever action they wanted to take to come to you, bring you problems, they can't. Someone wanted to come in and accuse another person of stealing from them while they're the one stealing from the person. This is like A saying that B stole from them. Only to be in the only to be the one that's actually stealing from B. They want to make it look like you stole their work, their money, or something, but the whole time they're the ones that stole from you. This could be a mother and daughter collaboration. Sisters, friends, it's not going in their favor. As you can see, one is in the reverse. One, one does not want to take action anymore. It's like, uh -uh. Listen, this is not going anywhere. You told us if we pretended to be something, it will go in our favor. It's not going in our favor. We, I'm not taking action with you. I'm not going there with you. Someone is probably, hey, let's go to your house. Let's go do this. And one of them has said, nah, I'm good. Because we've been at this for a long time and it's not leading to nothing. Someone wants to bring you problems. Someone wants to bring you problems. And they're being told not to. This could be a mother and a daughter that's been working together or two feminine energy. One is older than the other one. Her friend is being exposed. Her friend is good at pretending to be something she's not. And she knows. This could be her, uh, for some of you, this could be the, the daughter that's impulsive as heck. Maybe the mom has found common sense. Yeah. Uh -uh. The mom wants to move on or the best friend wants to move on. She said, nah, I want to heal. I want to recover. I want to move on. We've lost a lot. Fooling around with this person. We've lost way too much. I don't want to anymore. Okay. For some of you, this is someone pretending to be healed so they can receive something. It's like, if I just pretend to be doing the work that I need to do, I'm going to receive this opportunity. You're not. You're not. People in this group are confused. Their, their mentors are not where it's supposed to be. It's all a collaboration based of ego and greed and jealousy. That's all it is. They want to destabilize you, but their lives are being destabilized. Someone made some type of false promise as well. They can't fulfill the promise. They don't know how it's going to be, what's going to happen. Someone made false promises to people in this group. It's what I just heard. Say, so, hey, if you join us, this is going to be really good. If you join us, you're going to receive this position. If you join us, you're going to receive this money. If you join us, this is going to happen. You're going to be elevated. And these idiots are like, yes, 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 yes. Count me in. Someone thought they were going to receive some type of offer from a masculine. You're not. There's a masculine that made a false promise. He has no intentions of fulfilling it. As a matter of fact, this person has a plan to go somewhere else, or he may have already given this offer to someone else, and you're sitting back waiting for it, and it's not coming. This is how malicious these people are. Malicious. Someone said something to someone. They said someone was going to take some type of impulsive action to do something, or someone was going to go for something. And someone says something to them, and they're like, "Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that." They, they could have been taking action to do the right thing, but someone says something to them, and they changed their mind. They said, "No, nah, I'm not gonna get involved. I'm not gonna, yeah, they're gonna keep their distance. I'm not gonna get involved." 
Someone does like a lot of manipulations. They play on people's minds and men, their hearts. This could be a feminine energy that does this. They're really good with their words. You know, if you go to them, this is going to happen. They did this to me, so, and I turned out this way, so it's going to happen to you too. Meantime, you didn't do nothing to this person. It's a lie. You didn't do nothing to this person. But someone is really good with their words. They're good with manipulating. They play, they play with words really good. So they're able to easily manipulate people around them. Someone's out here pretending to be you, pretending to be over something. It's like, I've healed from that. I've put that behind me. And it's like, uh, yeah, people don't heal that quickly. It takes years for people to heal. You don't just heal overnight. Thank you. You don't just heal overnight. You don't just heal overnight. Someone is pretending to be healed, pretending to be in the upright. What does it say? Overly defensive or sensitive, insufficient defense, disadvantage, indecision, liking confidence, vulnerability, runaway, fight. Someone is not what they're trying to put out there. They're in the reverse. They're trying to act like they're healed. This is them. Okay. And they're exposed. I don't think they realize that they're exposed. They said, hey, what, what's going on here? Regardless, things are still moving forward. Things are still moving forward. Okay. There's a queen of cups in something. She, this this woman is so exposed. She can't even defend herself. There's no justification for things that she's been doing. No justifications. This could be like a group of women that paired up to do something and it's not going in your favor. They thought they had it all figured out. They thought they had it all figured out. Like, they just, they just keep going. He's going to believe us eventually. If we all have the same story, he's going to believe us. Okay? The Most High is telling you, regardless of what's going on, keep moving forward. Divine timing. You're going to receive an opportunity, new beginning. You'll be working with someone of high honor. Keep moving forward. These people have been working together behind the scenes to end you, block you, break your heart, destroy you. And the whole time the Most High has been telling you, your only obligation in this story is to keep moving forward. Trust divine timing. Okay? So there's false promotion that these people thought they were coming in to give you so that they could trap you in something. It's not meant for you. They're trying to do it to keep you stuck in your mind. It's a oh, this promotion is really good. It sounds really good. I would hate to miss out on this. Meanwhile, the most high said, I didn't tell you that was yours. I already told you what the game is, what the plan is. I already have a solid offer for you. After all of this, okay? And it's not coming from this group. This is what they're trying to do. This is why they're trying to do it. Because if you accept that false offer, you miss out on this offer. This is a, a, a source offer, this new beginning. Okay? You miss out on it. Some of you are supposed to receive promotions that are going to lead to new beginnings for you. And people want you stuck in your mind so you can turn those positions down, those offers down. 
and you can stay stagnant. They, they want you defensive towards the person that's coming in to give you the offer. <clears throat> they want you to think that there's someone of low character, low morals, no character, no ethical values, nothing. So if you reject it, you've missed out on your abundance. This is what some of them want you to do. You need to pray to the Most High, trust the Most High to guide you. But you best believe there's someone that's coming in or wants to come in to cause you some type of illusion, conflict, manipulation, and buy an offer you're supposed to receive. It's like if we give them this offer, they're not going to want that other one. We're going to make this sound real sweet. Put this all to trap you and to block your forward movement, to get you unhinged and out of character, cause you an ending. Like, you know how the Queen of Pentacles is down to earth, calm, collect? You don't get a lot of emotions out of the Queen of Pentacles. Even though they know what's going on, they don't react. They'll speak to you calmly. These people are trying to get you out of that. Like, if you accept this offer from them, when you realize what the truth is, you won't be the Queen of Pentacles anymore. This could be why it's in the reverse. You're going to be unhinged. Having to start your healing journey over. You may lose your mind and start doing things that you typically don't do. Starting fights with people. All kinds of stuff. Okay? All kinds of stuff that you would normally not do. But someone knows the truth in this matter. Someone knows the truth. Someone sees you as a wish fulfillment. Someone is content in life. Someone is fulfilled in life and they want to work with you. You're going to be working with a gentleman that knows you on a spiritual level. Someone that stands up for what's right. Someone that's just. All you have to do is keep moving forward. Someone that's just. Yeah. I'm telling you, someone that's just. Someone that's practical. Some, there's, there's a whole group causing, man, they're manipulating. It's a manipulative tactic. They don't want you to see the truth. There's some type of manipulation they're doing to a king of pentacles. This is someone fulfilled in life. He may want to give to you, start some type of new beginning with you, new life with you. They're, they're, they're manipulating him. They want to make it difficult and uh, 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 discourage him from coming to you. It's a man, we're telling you that's the wrong option. People should not be able to feel they're comfortable telling you what option is the right one or the wrong one. If someone is genuine with you, they'll say, yeah, man, I mean, you can give it a try and see how it goes. I'll just be mindful, protect yourself, make sure that you're taking precaution. But if someone is coming out directly and telling you that's not the right option, I don't think you should do that. Your antennas need to go off. It said, why do you feel so... Uh, asserting that that's the wrong option. And then if they're pushing someone else onto you, I think you should go with this person. Uh, uh, attendants should go off. That's not advice. That's someone telling you what to do with ulterior motives. That's someone pretending to know the truth about a matter or someone, and they don't because there's ulterior motive. There's a collaboration going on behind the scenes. Okay, there's a collaboration going on. They're trying to block someone from taking action. I'm telling you, there's a collaboration going on behind the scenes. These people are fighting amongst each other. They're competing for something that does not belong to them. They're competing for what does not belong to them. Someone's abundance. Someone's promotions, someone's elevation, someone's work. I should have this. No, I should have this. I should have this promotion. No, I should have this promotion. I've been here for 40 years. I should have it. And they're like, we don't care. They're fighting for someone's promotion, someone's abundance. Someone's abundance. They're fighting for it. 
They haven't done the work. They haven't done nothing. But they want it. Not on a spiritual level, not on a physical level, mental, emotional, nothing. They haven't done the work. And they're causing this person conflict. They don't want him coming towards you. So they're fighting with him. Listen, we're telling you don't go to them. That's not the right option. Yeah, don't make them their offer. It's not the right option. You need to think about this. The whole time, he's headed in the right direction. But every time he tries to take a move, make a move, they're like, no, don't do it. We're telling you. You've known us for umpteenth years. We have your best interest at heart. Meanwhile, everyone in this group has their own motive. They don't want they don't want someone doing good in life, so they don't want you coming towards them. This is what's ahead of you. If you go towards whoever you're going to, sir. This is what's ahead of you. The karmics are fighting, the karmics are falling, and they can't get up. I'm telling you, these people are wearing a mask. Wearing a mask. And the longer you stay around them, the longer you're going to keep fighting with them. They know. I don't know if you just now came into awareness about this conflict, this collaboration. It's been going on the whole time. You didn't know, but they knew. They knew. You going towards someone is your victory. It's your victory. It's all planned. I'm telling you. They're fighting about someone's inheritance. Someone's abundance. They don't want someone receiving what's theirs. Someone has done the work to heal, to move on with their life. And now for them to step in their abundance, this group is trying to block them. They said, no, I should have that. They don't deserve it. Who are you to decide what someone deserves? Who are you to decide what someone deserves? This is how people end up in positions where they don't even know what to do, what to do with the position and they end up destroying a whole company or because there's finances attached to the position. But they don't care about anything that's going on with that company. They don't have any passion for the work, nothing. Meanwhile, you have passion. You could care less about the money. As long as your bills are paid, you're good. You just care about the job, about the people. You're about passion, enjoying what you're doing. These people don't care. But this King of Pentacles already knows. Whoever this is, he already knows. And he's already going to do what he wants to do. He said, I already see what the motive is here. You want to tell me all of you are jealous of one person? You want to tell me all of you are trying to destroy one person? You're sitting back and trying to destroy one person? You don't feel foolish about that? So someone knows the truth. He said, oh, yeah, I'm already hip on game. Someone that's not like that a masculine sees you as wish fulfillment. They said, nah, we've been working together and now you want to go work with them? Now you want to go make them an offer? They said, yeah, because this person was hiding their true intentions the whole time. He was studying all of you. He's just sitting, he, he's just been sitting back. Yeah, dang, I can't believe I didn't see this. This is why they've been doing this the whole time. This is why. Damn, people are crazy. This is crazy. They've all been working against this one person. Dang, I got to present them with this opportunity. Because he knows. But all of you? Against one person? He said, why didn't I see this before? Why didn't I see the truth before? He's moving on. I told you, 
he's still going to take action and move on. So whoever this King of Swords is that was coming to come that was coming in to cause illusions and stuff, it's not gonna work. Someone's already hit on game. It's not going to work. Yeah, he's coming in to cause illusions. Illusions. And they're fighting this King of Pentacles because they know. Oh, well, now they know that he has a whole different plan. He's like, I, man, I already see what this person can do. And you're still trying to lie to me and tell me that they don't know what they're doing. What is wrong with you? Someone has already recovered. They're moving on. They're standing in their power, taking charge. But we've, we've done everything to try to destroy this person. And they still show up immature energy abundant energy you can't even tell this person is going through con conflict behind closed doors and you want me to believe that you all are right you're bsing me telling you this man's intentions were hidden the whole time for you collective if it wasn't hidden he just decided that something was revealed and he decided, yeah, I'm going to go work with this person. And he's keeping his uh, uh, his uh, uh, moves when he's going to do what he wants to do secret. But he's moving on. You're moving on, collective. Something is going to be made known to you. You may receive a letter, some type of information. You may receive some type of advice on, from someone and they're telling you to move on. You need to move on, collective. Take action and move on. There's clarity in the situation now. This man sees things for exactly what it is. These people have been competing with you for what's yours. If it's an opportunity, they've been competing with you. They say, she shouldn't have that. She's not one of us. He's not one of us. And this man sitting back now watching them like, what the heck? You mean to tell me I've been working with a bunch of clowns? I've been working with clowns? Like, you all aren't going anywhere. No motivation, no creativity, nothing. I've been working with clowns. I've been collaborating with clowns. Put in, he's putting an end to this. And he's standing firm in that. This man is determined to end this chapter with these people. He's like, I'm done. All you all do is fight. Cause conflict. Don't have nothing going on. All you do is steal, lie, trick, manipulate. That's all. And there's a wife character that has been the head of all of this. I'm telling you, this man has seen things from a higher perspective. He's moving on. He's staying calm, but he knows he's removing himself. What is the hanging man? Self-sacrifice, spiritual growth, prophecy, involuntary submission. Trust is being tested, suffering, new perspective, unconventional. This man, as knew it, has a new perspective on this situation. He may have been working with these people behind the scenes before, but he sees things clearly now. Part of why we have this is a source out here. He sees the truth now. So he's moving on. They can't confuse him anymore. This is like, let's say, for example, you work for someone or you have some type of uh, connection to someone and they know you. They see you, right? They see you on a spiritual level. They know you. But then some idiot comes in and causes conflict. And now this man starts con uh, questioning his opinion of you. And he said, well, I thought this person was this way, but they're telling me this. And they have multiple people come in to tell him the same thing. They start invading your privacy and showing him stuff that don't even make no sense. And now he said, oh my gosh, I thought this person was upright. They're not. So he starts working with them, collaborating with them. But something happens where the truth is revealed to him. Like, hey, this is a karmic group. They have ulterior motive. 
ulterior motives because each person has their own intentions in this group, what they want. And he said, oh my gosh, I effed up royally. I got to fix it. So now he's seeing things from a higher perspective. And he's moving on. He's separating himself from his people. Moving on. So I don't want no parts of this. I don't want no parts of it. Someone feels that he martyred himself even working with these people. Trying to block someone. Abundance. Trying to block someone's forward movement. And he's just sitting back and watching them. Look, I have been working with clowns. I keep hearing the word clowns. I've been working with clowns. Look, he sees now why they've been doing what they've been doing to each of you. So, oh, now it makes sense. That's why they've been so determined to take, to take someone down. That's why. Yeah, people out here pretending to be wise, pretending to be soul guys, spirit guys, pretending to be gifted, and they're not. I'm telling you, this man is leaving. He's walking away. He said, I'm done. I'm done. I'm taking my offer somewhere else. He's done. This man is leaving. It's done. I'm telling you. It's done. Someone sees the truth about a karmic group. How hard they've been working together to destroy another person. He didn't know before. Because obviously, if you have multiple people doing the same thing, telling you the same thing about one person, you're more than likely going to believe it. Because it's that why are 100 people telling me that you are mean, you're egotistical, you're selfish, you're lazy, you don't do what you're supposed to do. Why are they doing this? Why are they telling me that? They wouldn't be telling me if it wasn't true. Only for him to find out this is a toxic group of people that consider themselves to be family and they have it said to destroy you so you don't receive something that belongs to you or so you can't move forward in life. They have ulterior motives. This is what they were hiding the whole time. They wanted someone else in this toxic group to receive some type of opportunity from this masculine because it benefits all of them. If he's giving them money, what? They're going to be receiving money too. Because then she can talk to this king of pentacles and tell him, hey, can you give Johnny $500,000? Can you give Mary $50,000? Can you give Alyssa $2,000? Right? Because he's going to have a soft spot for whoever this person is. They were trying to get him to get this opportunity to. And it's all for greed. She, he does not care about the work. It's all for greed. This man is planting seeds somewhere else. He's moving on. Taking his offer somewhere else. Crazy. Right. I'm telling you, he knows the truth now. You see this high priestess out here? Someone knows the truth now. He knows the truth about you, even if you're a high priestess. He knows you're in the upright. Your gifts are ones from the most high. You're not dark. You're not into dark work. You're not out here manipulating. You're not out here scamming. This is what they were telling him about you. She's into voodoo. She sends negative energy to people to cause them endings. And this man is finding out that's not true. This is someone guided by the universe. He has full clarity. He said, that's not true. This person does nothing. We've been watching this person for umpteenth years, umpteenth months. I'm thinking weeks. This person don't even say a spell word. This person doesn't do rituals. Nothing. 
And you are trying to get me to believe that they're what? They do voodoo? This is a high priestess in the upright. So they're not... You see the cards around this person? The ace of swords means truth, clarity, victory. This is someone that's in the upright. You see the sun here next to them as well? This is someone in the upright. This is not a dark high priestess. But they've been lying. And they see the card that came before the sun. This is someone wise. Wise beyond their years. You could be young collective. Very young compared to the people that are coming after you. People expect high priestesses to be like in, in their uh, late, late years. Like maybe in their 50s, 60s, 70s. Wise old women. Right? But you're someone young and youthful. Young and youthful. Very intelligent. Extremely intelligent is what I'm hearing. With that is the source. You are extremely intelligent and direct. You don't lie about nothing. You have nothing to hide. And people have been lying about you. And this man has clarity now. They said, oh, so that's how you all move. This is why you've been trying to end this person. I'm so happy you all. This message is coming together now. That's why you've been trying to end this person. Because not only are they intuitively gifted, they're in, they're in the upright. They stand for what's right. They use their gifts righteously, and you people are burdened by that. You all don't have any gifts or nothing. This person doesn't care about money. You all are superficial fighting here for money, and this person is going on about their life, not paying you any mind. And you're out here telling lies that they did this to you, they did that to you, or they're doing this. Meanwhile, they're not doing nothing to you. Someone has moved on with their life. This man is seeing things clearly now about the whole situation. And about you. Ulterior motive is what I keep hearing. He's seeing the ulterior motive behind their actions now. Someone didn't see things clearly before. He didn't see things clearly. It's a tower. It's a tower. Someone is not receiving an opportunity as though they were going to receive from a masculine energy. Because it's a tower now. He sees the truth. You can't only pretend to be something for so long. Someone was pretending to be a high priestess. I'm telling you, judgment has been called. It's a tower. It's an ending. They're not getting what they thought they were going to get. They thought they had prepped this person up in the best way possible. That she had had you had your characteristics perfected? Like this is the real high priestess. Man, that one don't know what she's talking about. She don't know what she's talking about. You see how I split the deck again and it still, it literally went right back to judgment. I split, I split the deck earlier, put it back together, split it again. What happened? The same judgment card came out. I'm smack deck on the money with this one. This King of Pentacles knows the truth now. He knows. These people have been misleading this man about you. And he's just sitting back and watching them. Either they don't know they've been busted. Either they don't know he knows the truth, so they're, they're keeping their narrative going. You know she sleeps around. You know she's married. You know he sleeps around. And the judgment card is still on the bottom. I'm telling you, honey. Judgment has been called. Judgment is final. You know she does this. She steals money. She steals hours. She, steals hours. she does this. And he's sitting back like, nah, 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 nah. Eh, eh. Two and two are not adding up. This has been going on for way too long. And I'm sick of it. So this man is moving discreetly. He's moving discreetly. Because he knows the truth. This man might be gifted. Someone is gifted in this group. Is not one of those people, not those karmics, 
I'm telling you, this man is taking his offer somewhere else. His new beginning, wanting to work with someone, this promotion, elevation, whatever opportunity this is, he's taking it somewhere else. He's not giving it to someone else, to, to someone in this group. This man could be gifted. Maybe he's been hiding it the whole time, or he just does not utilize his discernment. But he's he's in the know about something now. And he, I'm telling you, he knows. He keeps it to himself. He said, like, I don't need to talk to them about this. The whole time this person has been with these people, he knew something was up. But he didn't take the initiative to find out what was up. But something was revealed, something was said that exposed the true intentions of these people. This man could have been with uh, someone, a queen of pentacles. I don't think they were married. He could have been working with her or had some type of relationship with her. This is the person they wanted receiving the opportunity from him. They wanted this man to see him as see her as wish fulfillment. They wanted him to see her as wish fulfillment. And this woman comes with nothing but death. Endings. Not creative. She's a burden. It's what I just heard. A burden. She's been causing a lot of chaos behind the scenes. Lots and lots of chaos. Then that's chaos. Burdens. She's been causing burdens. And she's burdened right now because the truth is being exposed. The truth is exposed about her. And she knows this man is walking away. Taking his offer somewhere else. This woman, woman is unhinged. She and her friends. Oh my gosh. Now it's coming together. She and her friends have been working together behind the scenes. To cause illusions. To get this man to give her an offer. That she does not even qualify for. Someone has some type of position they don't qualify for. They don't know what they're doing. They have no passion about this position. Nothing whatsoever. It comes with a lot of benefits. That's why she wants it. She's not getting it. She's not in the upright. Illusion. I'm telling you. She's not in the upright. She may have some type of commitment with this person. Maybe he rushed and did something with her. Whatever it was, he's trying to undo it. He said, oh my gosh, what the heck was I thinking? I don't effed up. I don't effed up really bad. I betrayed the person that I was actually meant to work with. Someone I was actually supposed to move forward with in work and have success. I effed up. He effed up. And they're still fighting him, trying to convince him that he made the right decision. No, they did not. They're keeping a mask. They didn't. They're wearing a mask. He's wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask. Everybody's wearing a mask. He's disappointed. That's what he is. He's disappointed because he's lost a lot of money, a lot of finances, a lot of time, resources that he's not going to get back. Now he has to balance something in his life. So he's stepping away from these people. He's like, I can't be dealing with you people anymore. You're causing me a lot of loss. You've caused me a lot of loss. He maybe may not even be able to offer something anymore. He has to take time to uh, uh, straighten out his finances because he's been giving to these people. Someone gives recklessly, and it will be characteristic of the King of Pentacles because that's something they tend to do is give recklessly to people. They don't know people are taking advantage of them. As soon as, soon as someone says, hey, um, my son is in the hospital. Oh, here's $500 for your son. They're saying that around you because they know you're going to give them the money. They have ulterior motives. That's why they're coming around you telling their sad stories. 
You didn't even ask them about their son. You didn't even ask them about their grandma. You didn't even ask them about their their uh, tenth removed, twice removed cousin that they've never spoken to. Never played with them, never been in their vicinity, but they hear that the cousin is sick, so they come to work the next day with a whole story to tell. And here you go taking your money to give to them. Meanwhile, the person you're supposed to work with, they don't complain about nothing, even though their lives may be up, upside down. They don't complain about nothing. You ask them, how are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. They leave it at that. And day in and day out, you're going out to go work with a good group of karmics to end the person that's not taking from you, not misleading you, not lying to you, not asking you for a goddamn thing. But you all are set on destroying that person's future. Only to come and find out that you destroy your own future. Destroy your own life. These people are disappointed, they're burdened. I'm telling you, this man is removing himself. There could be a high priestess in here as well that's removing herself. She said, I don't want to be part of this anymore. We are wrong. We did wrong. She's hiding her sorrows. I'm telling you, she's moving on. She's hiding her sorrows. People are moving on. I'm telling you. People are moving on, turning a new leaf. That this is not worth it. We don't even know why we're coming after this person anymore. You told us they did this to you. Turns out it was a lie. You told us they did this to you. Turns out it was a lie. You told us they did this to you. It turns out it was a lie. You said this person is into voodoo. No, they're not. This person doesn't even practice anything. Let's say, for example, I do tarot, right? I'm spiritual. I am heavily spiritual. I don't do rituals. I don't care. I don't do rituals. So if someone came out and said that I was a voodoo priestess, I was into sending dark energy to people, things of that nature, it would be a goddamn lie. Because I promise you, I don't do any rituals. If it does not have to do with me doing like a cleansing bath, sending positive energy out into the universe or calling in my positive energy, something of that nature, I don't, I'm not participating. I know my herbs, my crystals. But as far as me getting under the moon, to no, no thank you. As far as me doing any type of uh, 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 dog stat, honey, please, what? What? For what? I don't need to do none of that. I'm born with the gifts that I have, so I don't need to do none of that. I mean, I'm of the light. If you listen to the prayer that I said at the beginning of my reading, that should let you know who I am. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intent. If I was someone negative, why the heck would I even dare repeat that? Because then what? All of the negative energy I've been sending out, what is coming immediately back to me? Common sense. There's a reason why I said that prayer at the beginning of my reads. It is something just like that. There's a woman people misled a masculine about a group about. They told this man that you were into dark work and this is you the whole time. Direct connection to source. Someone that brings hope to other people, healing to other people. Someone bold. They don't like the fact that you're bold. So they've gone on a smear campaign. You are just like me. You don't do rituals. You don't have to. You're guided by the most high. You don't have to do rituals. You're of the light. People that are of the light do not have to do rituals. Everything is mental. Our power is in our tongue, in our mind, our hearts. So we don't have to do rituals. We don't have to practice any spells. We don't have to learn any spell. We will study dark magic just so we are aware of what people do and how to refute it that's about it 
But as far as us sitting and telling you what spell to do on this day so your enemies can fall down, we're not telling you none of that. We don't care about stuff like that. We'll tell you how to protect yourself with positive energy. How to communicate with the Most High, your ancestors. How to guide your ancestors of the dark out of the dark. Guide them into the light. Guide them into the light. Those are the kinds of things we care about. We don't do rituals. We don't do manipulations because all of that goes against our contract, our relationship with the Most High and our ancestors. So we don't do rituals. I've never been someone that does rituals. It's not that I don't know how to do them. I don't want to. I don't care to. It's not beneficial to me in any way, shape, or form. That's one of the easiest ways for us to fall from grace when it comes to our relationship with the Most High. So I don't partake in that stuff. The moon cycles, knowing what night, what night of the month to recite your spell work, to block people, a uh, forward movement. Why the heck are you concerned about someone else's forward movement? So you are in a situation like that. People told someone that you were wicked, you were evil, malicious, vindictive, manipulative, and you're nothing of those things. You're someone in the upright. People have caused you sorrows, and you have to walk around with your head held high, like nothing is going on. You're having a hard time holding your head up. You're, you've experienced some type of loss because of what these people did, not because you did something for you, the high priestess, but this masculine is going through loss because he didn't listen to his higher judgment. He was told not to participate in something, and he did. So he's going through a loss. But this is going to be something that's going to lead to a new start for him. Next time when people come to him and tell him, hey, this person is this, he'll know not to pay that too much attention, attention at all. This is the situation some of you are in. People lying. Lots and lots of lying, manipulation going on simply because of greed. Greed. And now they don't know what's going to happen to them. They're living in fear. I'm telling you, living in fear. Someone is not able to move forward. They're about to be going through stagnation. Okay? They're going through stagnation. They've lost a lot. There's a high priestess that's of the dark and a high priestess of the light. The dark is pretending to be the light. The truth has been found out about her and she's going through laws as well. She's not moving forward. There is no growth and expansion for her. This woman thought she, she was in the clear. Like, girl, we have him fool. High priestesses don't even act that way. The minute you said we... Let me know you're not a high priestess. High priestesses don't work with other high priestesses like that because we're very specific about how we do things. What works for you may not work for me. What works for me may not work for you. We'll support you from a distance. We'll send you positive energy. We'll pray for you. But as far as us combining our work, that's unlikely. That's unlikely. It's not because we don't like each other. Genuine high priestesses, naturally, when you come in their energy, you already know what they're about. You already know, yeah, I'm for you. I support you. I see you. Keep going. But they're not coming to learn how to do tarot reading like you do, for example. They're not coming to learn how you read your cards. They do it their own way. How they put their herbs together to fix their own remedies to drink for their health. They're not coming to you to ask you for that either. They're going to study the herbs and they'll learn through trial and errors throughout the year. They find out what works for them, what doesn't work for them. They stick to what works for them. They keep expanding as well. If it doesn't work for them, they don't participate in it. Okay? But the moment I heard we, let me know. 
That's not a high priestess. That's someone with ulterior motives. That's someone that is losing a lot. That's someone that cannot afford to lose anymore because they've lost an, uh, an abundance that they could not afford to lose even though it was not theirs in the first place. They're falling from grace. Someone fell from grace a long time ago. And they're upset because you are a high priestess in the light. You do what's right. You're guided by the universe. They've been paying people behind the scenes to interfere with your wish fulfillment. You were supposed to be abundant, but they don't want you abundant. So they've been bribing people behind the scenes. She could have been bribed as well to interfere with your forward movement. Collective? Yeah. To interfere with your forward movement, but you took your power back. Is that, excuse me? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I'm going to need you to have several seats. Because you, I, if you truly are a high priestess, you know what the consequences of this is. I'm taking my power back. And I'm moving forward. She's not. She's not. What does this say? Slow action out of control. Too hastily or rashly. Altercation. Remain stagnant. Procrastination. Bad news. Someone is receiving bad news. They thought they pretended to be a high priestess of the light uh, 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 perfectly. They thought they had someone fooled. And this was all for an opportunity. It's like, girl, we got this. She and her friends. We got this. He thinks we're the real high priestesses. So I'm, you know I'm going to get this opportunity. I'm going to get this position. I'm going to get this offer from him. Whether it's a relationship or whatnot. And this man is sitting back like, yeah, I don't think so. I'm out. You are a clown. I'm telling you all the God's honest truth. He sees these people as clowns. This woman, he sees her as a clown. Meanwhile, all the time they've been taken to pretend to be upright. You've been perfecting your craft, getting better and better every freaking day. Some of you, I'm telling you. She thought she was going to receive good news about some type of abundance. She's not. This man is taking his abundance somewhere else. He's going to be partnering up with someone else. You could be receiving some type of proposal from this masculine. I don't know if it's a marriage. It could be a marriage for some of you, but it's going to start off in work. And that's why, which makes sense now, that's why these this person wanted to come in and give you some type of false offer so they could keep you trapped in some type of toxic collaboration or union or institution so that when this masculine comes in to give you your offer, you'll already be bounded to something else. It's not happening. It's not happening. For some of you, this masculine could have been trying to communicate with you a long time ago. And these people have been interfering with the communication. Is that I keep trying to contact this person. I don't have any ulterior motive for them. I genuinely want to work with them. Why are they not responding? He didn't know it's because there was interference from this karmic group. Being led by this karmic feminine energy. This group is done. They are done. I'm telling you, they're done. This group is done. If there's a couple in here, they're done. If this man was in a relationship with one of these karmics, these clowns, it's done. I just said this group is done. And what happens? The Ten of Swords landed right under them. They're done. They can't pretend anymore. They can't gaslight this man anymore. They can't give him some type of disingenuine uh, uh, offer because he knows where the genuine energy is and it's with you, collective. You're the one that's been putting in the work to you to move forward, to elevate the mass in some way, shape, or form. 
But this group is done. This couple is done. Whoever this is, it's done. It's done. They're fighting with this woman now. What you told us, you told us you knew what you was doing. You told us we were going to be victorious. We were going to have this. We had this in the bag. It said it was a lie. The devil will never succeed over the child of God. So you all need to sit down. Sit down. Have several seats. Again, the hanging man. They martyr themselves. They martyr themselves. <laughs> they martyr themselves. Some of these people took actions that don't even make any sense. It said you're taking money to go do what? To pay for spell work to be sent to someone? Are you okay? Like, like are you really, are you okay? What's that saying by Remy Ma? Are you dumb? You're taking money out of your pocket, out of your wallet, to go pay for spell work? To be sent to someone that hasn't done anything to you? They don't even pay you the mind. They don't know if you're alive or not. Like you're literally irrelevant to this person's life. And you're paying for money to be sent to 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 for, for spell work to be sent to them. Are you dumb? You guys to be dumb. You guys to do time, whether it's spiritual or physical. Because that just don't make no sense. People that spend money foolishly like that on stuff like that are people that don't really value money. They don't value resources. They're money hungry, but they're foolish with it. It's over for this group. This point of pentacles in the reverse, this collaboration is over. They're moving on. They've lost a lot. They have all lost a lot. Time, friendships, money, investment, resources, peace of mind. They've lost a lot. And most of them won't be able to recover. Meanwhile, you're healing, standing in your power, and moving on with your life. They're fighting for something that belongs to you, but they'll never receive it. You will be partnering up with this masculine to get what's yours. I just had something that flipped over. Excuse me. Here it goes. Absolutely. I'm telling you, you're going to be recovering. They were, they were all happy. They thought they had destroyed you. They were celebrating. Only to find out it's not so. You celebrated a little too early. This a uh, 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 collective member, the the soul tribe, they're moving forward. This star seed, they're moving forward. This other one of them steal from you, and uh, this keeps coming out. It's done. It's done. It's over. Someone in here may be passing away for some of you. For some of you, they're losing a home, losing a job, losing a promotion, losing something, something really essential to their livelihoods. Why are they losing these essentials to their livelihoods? Because this is what they were trying to take from you. Block your forward movement. Block your stability. Block your independence. They didn't want you in this independent energy. They didn't want you collaborating with people. People sharing with you, giving to you in whatever way, shape, or form. They've been doing everything to block that. But you're still moving forward. Meanwhile, they're going through endings. And then, I'm telling you, you took your power back and you're moving forward. You're like, I think not. What I'm going to do is live in my truth, accept myself for who I am. I'm gifted, so yes, I will be using my gifts. I am a child of the Most High. I am truth. I am authentic, right? They may have told this person you were emotionally imbalanced. It's not true either. They're seeing you as some. Listen, this is how this man sees you. This is how this man sees you. A healer. A blessing. Someone to work with. Right? Someone with, with discernment. Gifts that he can use for his benefit and your benefit. You are a star. Your star, you, your star shines brighter than, 
than all of the other stars around you. And that's why these people didn't like you. You don't even have to try to shine. You just naturally shine. That glow is just there. You just be glowing. The glow be glowing. And they hate that about you. This is why they've been making it your mission to destroy you as well. They said, how can, how can they be a star seed and then be abundant as well? Why are they getting this opportunity? We should be getting this opportunity. And the most high is like, I decide what goes to who. I decide who deserves what, not you. Okay? And who I decide gets something is who is going to get it. And they're bitter about that. They're angry about that angry they're being told sit down i just thought yeah sit down whatever plans they have they are being told to sit down let it go someone here does not know how to let things go but they're being forced to let things go it said it's over it says someone knows something is over but they are refusing to accept that it's over make it make sense It's like, I know, I'm telling you, honey, it's like, I know, I know we've lost already. We can't keep this, but I'm still going to hold on to it. So you're going to hold on to what? You can't hold on to that. It's not yours. You got to give it back. You got to give it up or you're going to be having more problems than you've already been having. Your dog may have died last week. But this week, you may be losing someone close to you, a child, a mother, a wife. You may want to let go of someone else's abundance. The longer you hold on to it, the more you're going to be losing. Yeah, exactly. The more you're going to be losing. The more you're going to be losing. These people had a whole plan orchestrated. And they didn't expect anyone to see the truth about what was going on. And someone does. And they said, oh, so this is what you all have been up to? Trying to destroy an empress? Celebrating the downfall of an empress? That's what this is? Someone's wife in here, baby mama, or whoever, she's going through an ending. Yeah, going through an ending. There's a masculine that's leaving a woman out in the cold. This is his wife. Maybe he didn't know she was partaking. Either this is his wife or his mother, baby mama, or something like that. He said, this is what you've been partaking in? Trying to destroy someone's life? It said she thought you and this man had something going on or he was coming towards you. He was leaving her out in the cold to come towards you. You and this man don't even have anything to do with each other from what I'm seeing. You're like on two different planets, two different worlds. Don't communicate, don't see each other, don't even know what each other look like in some cases. She's aware of you. Somehow, this is so confusing. This woman is aware of you somehow. You're not even aware of her. You don't even have awareness of her husband. They're going through some type of separation. And she's blaming you for it, even though you have nothing to do with it. This is somewhat karmic. So this ending was inevitable. The, separ the, the celebration is over. The celebration is over. This group is not celebrating anymore. Say, you were supposed to say this. You were supposed to do that. He's like, I'm sorry. I had to take my daughter to daycare. I couldn't. This could be someone's mother that's living in some type of regret as well for something she did. And this man... Son, whoever this is, is leaving her behind or he's, I don't know what it is. Like he's distancing himself from her, leaving her out in the cold, something like that. Like, oh, I just saw the world. Like he's walking away. 
I don't think he's not, not going to talk to his mother for the rest of his life, but I think he's disappointed in something that she did, something she partook in. Either this is his mother or this is like his ex-wife or his wife. They're separated. There's something like that going on. Okay. She, I don't, if this is a mother, she thought her son was too good for you, but she asked around and found out it's not so. If this, a, this is a wife, it says she doesn't want to let go of the husband because there's some type of benefit to it for her, financial benefit, something like that. And she's intimidated by you. It's a whole lot going on. And she and her friends, they collaborated to end you. And this, yeah, it was a whole plot. This collaboration is over. It was a whole plot to end you. They, they were celebrating the fact that you were going to be left out in the cold. Yeah. You were going to be left out in the cold. This man moves in secret or something. They say, yes, we've undone her. We've destroyed her. We got it. She's going to lose everything. He's going to lose everything. And the whole time the Most High is sitting back. Oh, Lord. I just thought, yeah. The Most High is sitting back. I just thought the Ace of Pentacles. The Most High is sitting back. And this is what he, the Most High has for you. This is what he has for you. Okay, so you may not even be aware of what the Most High has for you. This masculine may not be aware either of what is up ahead of them, whoever this masculine is. Okay, for some of you, there's someone from your past. This person could have been married. They're going through some type of divorce or separation from their wife, right? And they want to come towards you, but they can't because there's ulterior motives. This person is not genuine. So I will be mindful of someone from your past coming towards you. Okay? I will be mindful. Someone was not genuine with you in the past. You have a new level soulmate, a new higher level soulmate. There's divine intervention. Whoever you're meant to be with after all of this betrayal is going to be happening. There could be an emperor that's taking charge of the situation. He's in the upright, may want to work uh, with you. Maybe there's divine intervention going on between you and this emperor. There's something going on, honey. But just know that the universe is on it. I'm telling you, they're on it. This, co this collaboration, this group, they're going to sit back and watch you two come together. While they're going through endings, they're gonna watch you all, you two come together, build a family together, and it's going to be tearing at people's heart. You, I'm telling you, they're gonna watch you two come together. The higher thing has to do with marriage institutions. Marriage is an institution, collaboration, brand new beginning. They're going to be watching you two come together. They said, we've done everything to block these people from coming together. We did everything to block him from saying the truth about her. And you want to tell me they're still coming together? Uh, yes, they are. Because he's looking things over. He said, uh-uh. Something's not adding up. Something is not adding up. Something is not adding up. I need to look into this. Their burden. Their burden. They are burden. This man does not know if you're going to accept his offer. He said, I don't know if she's going to talk to me. I'm sure he'll, she'll talk to you, sir. Yeah. He doesn't know if you're going to talk to him if he sends you a message and tells you the truth about what has been going on behind the scenes, what he partook in, he's burdened. Yeah, he is burdened because the truth has been exposed. 
He knows the truth now. My goodness. He knows the truth. Usually when my car like the car falls out in a stack, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, he knows the truth that they were lying. This queen of swords, this whole group, they're liars. They abuse power. They're liars. This man is burdened by the truth being exposed. It said, oh my gosh, the truth has been in front of me the whole time. This person has been consistent the whole time. Why did I not see it? It's because you were lied to. You were lied to. There's some moron in here, in this group. All they do is criticize other people. They like, see, I told you they couldn't manage their finances. I told you they're broke. They don't know what they're doing. I told you they're mentally unstable. It's like, no, they're not. You're talking about yourself. Because someone that's mentally stable does not sit around doing all of that. Someone that has two senses, they don't sit around gossiping about people, projecting onto other people. So this man knows that you're talking about yourself. You're talking about yourself. People have been doing a lot of lying, manipulations, and they can't do that anymore because the truth is exposed. Someone is burdened that the truth is known. That you're going to be receiving a message. Someone wants to communicate with you. Someone still wants to work with you. After all of the manipulation they've done, they still want to work with you. And they're burdened by that. They still want to cause conflict. Say, no, I'm telling you, if you go to this person, it's not going to be beneficial for you. And he'll say, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Jizzy Bell. He'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, your honor. Obviously, you feel like you're in charge of this situation. You're the judge, jury, and executioner. We're about to show you who it really is. Don't do it. Don't go towards them. Yeah. They're burning because he knows the truth. The truth is exposed. Someone wants to say, oh, you picked a fight with them. You didn't pick no fight with anyone. You don't even pay people any mind. Collect it. People that are in the light, they don't care about conflict. As soon as you, as soon as they sense an inkling, a drama from you. What do we usually do? We distance ourselves. With a, mm -mm, not today, enemy. Not today. Your, your your negative energy, keep it to yourself. That's how we move. Someone wants to say you picked a fight with them. You lie on them. You did something. You didn't do nothing to these people. You didn't do nothing. And you are aware of everything they've been doing, but you have done nothing to them. Someone thinks you don't know the truth about their lies the manipulations, everything they've been doing. You know the truth about everything these people have been doing. For some of you, these people are watching you, and you know they're watching you. It's like you're lo they're looking for evidence they're never going to find. Someone told them you did something or you do something. They've been watching you for years, months, weeks, a year. They haven't found nothing. All they've seen is you're minding your damn mother effing business. You're not calling people to be uh, uh, to be, uh, uh, fuss about anything. You're not calling people to tell them nothing that's going on. You're not picking fights with anyone. You have your kitchen table talk with your families, your partner, whoever. But you're not worried about these people. But someone is set in stone to prove that you did something to them that you didn't do. And you know everyone that's involved, what they did. And if you don't, don't worry about it. It'll be re revealed to you. It'll be revealed to you. Yeah. Telling you, it'll be revealed to you. <laughs> it's going to be revealed to you. <laughs> I said it'll be revealed to you and the Knight of Swords comes out. Someone is going to reveal it to you. Don't worry. You don't have to burden yourself about it. 
They're going to reveal the truth to you about this new opportunity, what people have been doing, all the toxic actions they've been taking, taking to block your forward movement, how people are wanting to come in and, and have you trapped in something that has nothing to do with you, something you're not supposed to be involved in. This is a whole karmic group. Something is exposed about something a karmic couple did, a toxic couple did to steal some type of offer from you. They were bribing people behind the scenes to play with your life and judgment has been called on them. Your ancestors say, we have had enough of you. Uh, enough of you. Your ancestors said we have had enough of you. You two got to do time. You all got to do time. And they're going to be doing time in different ways. Losing jobs, going to jail, losing their stability, their independence, friendships, resources. They're all about to be doing times in different and multiple ways. But someone is going to come tell you the truth, right? Your ancestors have this control. They have their hands in it. This has to do with a Ten of Pentacles offer. It's a Pentacles offer. That's going to lead to a passion in your beginning for you, right? This situation is dead. This is like the causing. This karmic situation is dead. You're going to be having or reconnecting with someone on a genuine level. It's this King of Pentacles or someone in here. It could be an a, a emperor for some of you. But you will be reconnecting with this person and healing things to move forward and manifest a new reality in divine timing. Okay? Your your enemies are living in fear. <laughs> yes, they're living in fear. <laughs> because they know it's done. This situation is dead and done. There's new beginnings at the, uh, around the corner for you. You're about to be embarking on a new journey. This whole thing is dead and gone. It's dead and gone. Your victory is ensured. You're sailing under calmer waters. The truth is illuminated. You may want to protect your crown chakra. Because these people are going to be trying to play with your mental. Now that the truth is exposed, please protect your crown chakra. Don't let anyone come in and manipulate you. You know the truth. You'll see the truth for what it, what it is. You've seen the truth for what it is. Stick to it. You don't really need to look over anything, but it doesn't hurt to look it over. Especially if this opportunity, this false opportunity is being brought to you, look it over, right? So you can make sure your karmic justice is done. It's carried out. Balance is being brought into this situation for you. Things are going in your favor. Take charge of your life and move forward. You see, listen. It don't matter how things are going. You need to always be in the know that your enemies will always be trying to steal from you, take from you, causing deception, all kinds of stuff. But you're moving forward regardless. Someone's not happy that you took your power back. They said, we've done everything to destroy you. How? 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 That's what someone keeps asking. They can't even get the rest of the question out. Or they're saying is, how? That's because you're different. You're different. You're built different. They thought they were going to come in and sneak you, give you some type of superficial love offer, friendship offer. That's not even solid. They say, Rem remember me? Remember? You remember me? Remember me? Remember we used to be like this? And say, no, I don't remember. I don't remember nothing. I moved on with my life because this person is full of illusions. You're walking away from this situation because you have a brand new passion and beginning ahead of you. You are the star. See, you're healing a blessing to have for, uh, with you. Your forward movement is ensure you have victory. You are the choice. Someone has chosen you and your enemies are upset. Do we care? Let them be upset. These are narcissists. They want to interfere with a co collaboration, a marriage, an institutional collaboration. As far as a connection between two people, that's an institution in and of itself. That's why people say marriage is a business, right? You could have a connection with a queen of wands, king of wands that's coming in. Yeah. Some of you have a connection with a king of wands that's coming in that is going to be of equal give and take. Someone sees you as very strong and brave. They're going to help you put an end to this toxic and karmic cycle or you're just being told this karmic cycle is over. It's over. 
Okay? Yeah. I'm telling you. A divine union. Either in business or relationship. Ooh, excuse me. That is so disrespectful. There is someone in this world that's very disrespectful. They're hating, but they're disrespectful. They don't want to hear anything about a twin flame connection, a soul twin connection. It's like, I just care about the money. I don't care about no love. Who cares about love? Okay? But you're almost there. It's a tower for these people that you're still getting to your destination after everything they've done to block your forward movement. They said, we did everything. We did everything to block this person. We invaded their privacy. We watch and stalk them 24-7. We, we don't have a life. They're all we've got. We were sure that we destroyed this person, destroyed this union from coming together. How are they still coming together? And the most I sitting back and say, oh, yeah. I, I kind of decide what happens. I'm in charge of the contracts. You don't know what's in the contract always. We, we make agreements with you, but there are surprises in the contract. So you can do all the malicious stuff you want. But if I decided that these two are coming together, guess what? They're coming together. So everything you were doing was just a waste of time. Source. What is your advice to us today? What would you be what would you like us to be aware of? Okay. 25, 7. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Lower curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Let's clean that. 99, 18, 9, completion. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I'm telling you, someone was trying to steal your destiny. Someone was trying to steal your purpose. But your purpose is yours. It's divinely destined for you. There is nothing anyone can do to steal that from you. The only one that can get you to lose your purpose is you. If you decide you don't want it, that's that's it. No one can stop it, block it, nothing. Okay? Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. And I will see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.